Welcome to the masterclass of life where you are the star pupil, poised to upgrade your existence and elicit a future brimming with success. You're about to embark on a transformative journey that will rewrite your destiny. Ready? Let's dive right in. Imagine shaking off the heavy cloak of labels and living a life that resonates with your deepest passions. This isn't just living. This is living amplified, where every heartbeat echoes into eternity. Oliver Wendell Holmes once posited the idea that a mind, once stretched by a new experience, can never return to its old dimensions. That's where transformation begins with a single step outside your comfort zone towards a life that ultimately transcends you. Hunger for more isn't about physical sustenance. It's an insatiable desire to fulfill what feels preordained in your soul. Every one of us is an original masterpiece, yet many live as mere replicas of someone else's dream. To ignite the flames of desire for a more fulfilling life, you must discover what sets your heart ablaze. The pursuit of a heart-centered existence rejects the notion that one must adhere to an assigned script based on societal norms. Your programming, your upbringing, need not restrain your potential. Once, I was inhibited by self-doubt, surrounded by the overbearing shadows of others' accomplishments. But that changed when I learned that the opinions of others are just that opinions. They should not dictate your reality. Elevate yourself. Craft an unstoppable attitude where excuses are annihilated on sight. Visualize your victory with such intensity that it's as though it's already yours, then charge towards it with a tenacity that knows no bounds. Remember this, failure is merely a detour, not a dead-end street. Stumble, fall, but if you can gaze at the sky, you can rise once more. Life taunts you to lie down, but the view from your back should remind you that the stars only appear in the dark. As a young man, a teacher forever altered the trajectory of my life by instilling three vital lessons in me. First, the importance of a positive mindset. In life, you attract what you are, not what you want. Second, surround yourself with only quality individuals your income often mirrors that of your closest friends. Lastly, master your voice. The manner in which you articulate defines your identity to the world. Seek out mentors and cultivate relationships that push you to explore uncharted waters within yourself. After all, it's difficult to read the label when you're trapped inside the bottle. A skilled guide can bring forth a version of you that might otherwise remain hidden. When setting forth on this expedition beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone, prepare to be accompanied by the shadow of your former self and the echo of the critical world. But silence the noise. Instead, listen to the still, small voice your inner wisdom that beckons you towards greatness. There are individuals in your life who will serve you well, and there are those who will only serve to drain you. Learn to differentiate between the two. Gravitate towards goals that intimidate you, for it is only through facing fear head-on that you metamorphose into someone unrecognizable a stronger, wiser version of you. Subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and ringing the notification bell isn't just an idle gesture it's an affirmation of your commitment to personal growth. It's your declaration that you are willing to equip yourself with the wisdom to tackle life's financial challenges head-on, whether that's nailing that investment decision or mastering the art of the sell-house negotiation. Remember, to evolve, you must stand firm in the face of adversity, embracing it not with fear, but with determination. It's not about the obstacles that befall you, it's about what's cultivated inside you when you choose to confront them. Confront the mirage of limitations that society dictates. You have been conditioned from an early age to see the world through a filter of impossibilities. Now, it's time to gaze through a lens of boundless potential. Albert Einstein professed that the thinking that has brought us to our current state cannot solve the existing issues. It's through new associations, continuous learning, and venturing beyond the familiar, that you begin to craft a narrative not born from your history, but painted by your imagination. If I were to impart knowledge to my future generations within just a single hour, I would emphasize the importance of self-awareness. You must resist conforming to the world's blueprint for you and instead allow your mind to be renewed and liberated. Sidney Poitier, in his wise words, asked whose pace are you matching? It's a compelling question that begs consideration. How to broaden your perspective, how to enhance your financial acumen, how to upskill in the legal landscape and manage risk with the right insurance, how to embrace the divine masculine, how to forge a strong successful male identity this video is more than just a conversation, it's a blueprint for those willing to embrace change, step into their power, and forge a legacy that lasts. As we wrap up, reflect on the empowering insights and the actionable steps outlined. Ask yourself, what steps am I ready to take? Stand up, speak out, and make sure that the story of your life is one that you're proud to author. 
your future awaits, my friends. Make it legendary. Max Sterling here, and today we're diving into a topic that hits home for all of us. The colossal struggle between the urge for vengeance and the path to success. Imagine, for a moment, you're at a crossroads of paths splitting in two. One leads to personal triumph, the other to the darker realm of revenge. You can travel only one. Your decision could redefine your life. Stay tuned to uncover why choosing success is your ultimate power move. As we embark on this journey together, remember to hit subscribe, like this video, and ring that notification bell. Doing so might just be the catalyst you need to propel you from where you are to where you truly want to be. Let's cut to the core truth, success and revenge are mutually exclusive. The world of competition has seduced many into believing that proving doubters wrong is the ultimate victory. It isn't. Friends, when you're consumed by the thirst for revenge, every insult, every snub, becomes fuel for a fire that's destined to burn only one person you. Our thoughts shape our reality, but often they're not even ours. They're like untamed waves, crashing into our mind's shore, carrying debris from every corner of our lives. This detritus muddies our waters, leaving us with feelings not of our own making. Remember, in a fiercely competitive world, many will try to convince you that you're broken. But that's a lie. You're not, you're a masterpiece in progress. What binds your pieces together isn't revenge, it's resilience. Reflect for a moment on your ability to rebuild yourself. This isn't a task anyone else can undertake for you. It's a solitary quest, a unique odyssey that starts and ends with one person. You. And when the subject of anger arises, consider this, it's an attempt to wrest control of the uncontrollable. You can't love someone while trying to control them, just as you can't savor success while clutching the cold hand of revenge. So how do you navigate this? Begin with the realization that your toughest opponent is the one staring back at you from the mirror every day. Fortify yourself not for a physical battle, but for a test of endurance. Learn the art of solitude, stand firm in who you are, and brace yourself for the inevitable the change that life throws your way. One pivotal lesson awaits you in this life's class, the power of saying no. It's the backbone of boundaries, the shield against the siege of people pleasing. Initially, it feels alien, maybe even terrifying, but it is transformative. Picture this, someone asks for a piece of you at the wrong time, perhaps an autograph while you're deep in thought, and you say no. It might unleash a torrent of self-doubt or anxiety initially, but it also fires up the forges of your self-discovery. Ponder, gentlemen, why do certain words, gestures, or situations light the fuse of your temper? Why do criticisms cut? Is the fault in you or in the skewed reflection from the society's mirror? Ask yourself, dig deep, and you'll find that when you understand the origins of your reactions, you gain the power to let go. You, my friend, have the ultimate power the power to act, to choose your response in any given situation. It's about grabbing the reins of responsibility and steering themselves towards calm waters. It's the choice to react with grace instead of aggression, to choose construction over destruction. But remember, no man is an island, and the solidarity in our shared struggles forms an unbreakable bond. I want you, the listener, to know that you're not battling alone. Vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, it's the touchstone of growth. By sharing our stories, we illuminate the paths we've walked. We show the difference between who we are and who we may appear to be. Understand that what society might label as broken is nothing more than a state of incompletion. And like any great work, we're crafted over time, chiseled by experiences, and polished through trials. The fabric we weave from our stories serves not just to cover us, but to express the fieriness of the spirit that drives us. Stand tall in your individuality. Unleash your potential. Ignite that fire within, and let it transform you into the person you were always meant to be. As we near the conclusion of our time together today, I want you to reflect on the insights shared and ask yourself, what action will I take from what I've learned here? Will you opt for the noble road of success or wander the fruitless trails of revenge? Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're ready to step into a life of purpose and achievement. Hit like if today's message resonated with you, and smash that notification bell to join the ranks of men committed to self-improvement and empowerment. In the end, let's recognize that the battle between success and revenge is won not on the fields of outward conflict but within the silent arenas of our minds. It's a battle that, when won, leads not only to success but to peace, fulfillment, and the unperturbed state of being that every man of valor seeks. Gentlemen, take this wisdom and apply it not just as a shield against the arrows of life but as a sword to carve your own destiny. 
Choose success. Choose resilience. Choose the infinite potential that lies waiting within you. And remember, the world is vast, opportunities boundless, and your journey it's only just begun. Until next time, this is Max Sterling, signing off.